This video is made possible by the following sponsors. Make sure to check out their products as well as the rest of my gear in the description below. Hey guys, Sim Racing Clickbait Boy here, and welcome back to Project Cars 2 for another video. In today's video, I'm going to be taking you guys for a race around the Long Beach Circuit, a track that I consider to be probably my favourite street circuit in the world. But Jimmy, what about Monaco and what about Macau? Whilst I like those circuits, they tend to be processions when it comes to racing. Long Beach actually has a good few overtaking zones, whilst also retaining that sort of tight street circuit feel so as a driver it's just a lot more entertaining to drive now if you follow real world motorsport you know that the imsa series is actually racing at long beach this weekend so i thought we would take the vjp to along for this race and see how close we can get to jpm's pole time of a 112.9 of course we're going to be trying to achieve that time with lots of other cars on track but it should be a laugh regardless so time to pop on the vr headset and show you guys why long beach is my favorite street circuit in the world Okay then, so rolling start here at Long Beach on board in our Ligier P2 and away we go then for seven laps of this awesome street circuit. We have 29 AI cars around us so going to be quite a, a fun experience trying to dodge them all going down the T1. Going to be nice and slow and nice and chill on the way down. Not really much cause for rush as AI tries to go four wide into T1. Just about making that work. Going to quickly shoot up the inside here before coming up to the fountain. Get nice and close to this kerb. Take the line of least resistance on the way round. Nice. Smash the front on the way out. It's been a good start for us. We started down in 30. Thought you gained about five or six places. So that's nice. First gear now as the AI try to sort themselves out. I don't want to hit anybody. And on the front once more. Look to the left to see my fuel and tyres. Very hot track temp today. About 120 degrees Fahrenheit. I have no idea what that is in Celsius, it's probably around 50 or 60 or so. It means the car's going to be very slippy, but again, sort of realistic to the real thing. Long Beach is a warm boy. <laughs> nice little drift out of there. Deep into the sit stream of the car in front. Going to pull out to the right now. Try and make a move into this right-hander. Car is a little bit understeery actually on the setup, but on throttles you're seeing very nice and slidey. AI is set to about 101% difficulty, which is a nice mix around here. They are still very slow for the last chicanes. I take advantage of that a little bit, but I hope you forgive me. There is one lap down, six to go. And it's very fun driving this P2 around town. I would love for there to be a uh, Mazda DPI for me to drive, slightly mad if you're listening. But um, unfortunately, we don't have that right now. So, Alicia P2 is the next best thing. Very deep on the brakes, just about avoiding the ball there. Big understeer on the way in. And again, I am sort of nicely surprised by the P2s in Project Cars 2. They handle quite nicely. A lot of nice detail on the interior as well. Give you guys a little tour once I get onto the straight here. See, I've got lots of detail on the wheel in front. Pretty much identical to the real thing. Looks to the left, all the detail on the left. I feel like I can reach out and touch those buttons there. Of course, I can't. I'll just be punching my wall, which isn't really the most fun thing in the world, but the sense of immersion is there. And of course, at Long Beach, with how close these walls are, I feel myself understeering towards them. The bumps really playing havoc here with my P2. Just check the mirror to the right. We're okay. No need to defend. Coming up to this right-hander here. Trying to carry a bit more speed. The walls are scary, but you can get nice and close to them and carry the speed. And that's the main thing you want to do in these, in these prototype cars, is just use that downforce. I did think about doing a multi-class race around here but it takes quite a while to catch the GT traffic so I thought having a pure P2 race would be a lot of fun. Something I didn't know actually that you might not know is that the IMSA do not run the GT3 class around here so it's only a 19 car field which for multi-class is quite small but then again it is only a 90 minute race so who knows oh no again just getting it wrong there AI takes the opportunity and slips up the inside I'm not having that as I get onto the grass Sorry, gardener, I've just messed up your garden a bit. <laughs> It'll be okay. Again, run it right to the outside there. It's very easy to touch that wall on the left and then get just stuck on it and being unable to turn uh, into the right afterwards. So you want to try and leave a little bit of a gap there. Look at my mirrors. I can't see the guy behind, so I'm going to assume he isn't there. Not doing great laps so far. I'll have to check my lap time next time around. See how close I am to that 12.9. 12.9 was achieved by JPM in qualifying in the Acura. So I'm interested to see what we, to see what we can do with something that isn't a DPI. 
slightly different regs of course between the DPI and the, uh, the P2 but they race in the same class. And the outside again AI a little bit tardy there so I can take advantage of it. Oh! A little bit, sorry mate, didn't mean to do that. Bit of a friendly tap there between me and the guy in front. So there goes the 12-9. We did a fifth or 16 or so. A 17-2. We're on a very hot track right now and I would like to try and get a little bit closer to the time than that. I think to sit gear nice and short to make use of the RPM. Now brake hard to T1. Throw it in, accelerate. Nice and early. Oh, I got a little bit of a bump from the guy next to me there. Didn't see him coming. Should have set my mirrors really before going in the T1, but I assumed I'd be clear. That's my mistake. Not quite close enough to get by the car in front there. Got to be so careful on those curves. They're very big. And I like my Pinor. And they make it very difficult to get... Oh! To get the car settled. You see the guy in front just clouting the ball. That would be probably suspension damage in real life. But we're in the fake, so we don't get that. Well, we do, but I turned it off. Nice run there at the right-hander. Oh, a little bit of a stutter there. We're going to use that Nissan power. Apparently it's Cosworth power, but we're going to use that Nissan power. Oh, come on. I'm trying to stay in line round here to try and make it a little bit less dive bombing for the end. Look at my mirrors there for a second as I turn into that tight right hand. Oh, God. Accelerate, dude. Bad boy. Our times are slow. A 16.7 there. Way off old JPM. I think track temp's got a lot to do with it, frankly. Right, we've got a little bit of clean air now, let's see what we can do. Immediately he almost runs wide in the T1 on the front, nice and early. Oh no! That would be suspension damage. But again, we're in fake, so I get away with that sort of thing. Long Beach is such a satisfying circuit once you get to know it, man. I, I think I prefer it in an Indy car. But in a P2, it's equally as, well, almost equally as fun, you know. You've got a lot of sliding going on, especially if you're not running any traction control. It's bumpy enough for you to respect it. And there are a couple of corners where you can get a little bit of downforce going. I really feel like you can attack attack the walls, you know? Here, for example, as I actually physically attack the wall. But you get the idea. Especially in VR as well, you can see a lot more. You can see where to place the car. And it just... It's just a great experience. I would love to do a proper race here at Long Beach. Up the inside, Dankeschön. I'm going to move to the right here because those guys cannot accelerate. Right, I'm going to check the mirrors this time because last time I got punted. 14.6, a much better time. So we're now only a second and a half or so off that uh, JPM pole lap. Fortunately, we have cars in front, so it's not going to be a fast lap. Oh my god, the understeer through T1. I made a couple of amendments to set up just to try and get the car to turn a bit more, but it doesn't seem to have worked. Up the inside here. Oh, that was naughty. AI says, no, he's hitting the wall. He hits us. Sorry, dude. Sorry, not sorry, mate. You can't ignore me. The bump there. The, when you get sideways over that bump, it's just such fun. Go in front of the wall again. It's be a bit of an AI trait there. Just to take a chunk out of the wall with them. Probably a souvenir from back home. Scott Pro says hello to the family and kids back home. Best to do on YouTube, by the way. So just uh, hunkering down, looking at all the details here. Really cool to see all the uh, info you get in this car. The tyre temp and fuel, etc. And when your brake bars is all to the left there. Really nice to have that on there. And also have this display on the wheel as well, with even more info. Of course, being a massive sim nerd, I've got a massive hard on for that sort of stuff. Okay, so. Oh my God, these guys are so slow at the hairpin. Now we might... Oh, nice. We might be able to get this guy. Oh, last lap. Okay, right. I'm going to try and push for a fast lap then. Hopefully this guy doesn't ruin it. He's there on the inside, but I'm going to just cut him off. Right, here we go. This is it. Here's our pole lap. Oh, P9. Nice. We made that a lot of places. Pushing the P2 now. Just homing on the guy in front. Hopefully they don't catch him fully in the ball up. Oh, that's a bit tight into there on the throttle. Yeah, a little bit of uh, a little bit too fast into that left hander. Suffered with under here because of it. Just shows you just how much traffic affects all that round here. We're 0.5 of a second that. Fastest first and second sector. 
be nice and neat and tidy for this last part of the course. Now the front will get sideways. I uh, know about the steer. We are going to catch the guy in front, thankfully. Roll it through. Now the front will go. What's the time going to be? I don't think it's not going to be a 12.9, but it's going to be a bit closer. We do a... Oh, 13.2! So close to that 12.9. Not quite one tyre, but a good race. And we end up in P9 after starting from 30th from the grid. But guys, really hope you enjoyed that. I said Long Beach is a great circuit. If you haven't driven it already, then go check it out. It's on Project Cars 2. It's part of the base content. It's a lot of fun. Definitely go learn it. You will not regret it. Well, thank you very much guys if you enjoyed that video make sure to hit that like button and if you really enjoyed it hit subscribe to be notified of future videos i'm going to do that classic youtuber thing now and say youtube has been sort of messing up putting videos in sub boxes recently so if you don't want to miss any videos make sure to hit the little bell notification thing make sure to smack my bell around and uh, hopefully that will solve that issue but yes guys take care have an awesome day i'll see you all next time